Hi guys, you're welcome. Thank you so so much for clicking. My name is Bukumi. Hope you guys are doing great. <laughs> so we are back at it, guys. If it was not recorded on camera, nobody would believe it. As an imam, leading prayers is a great responsibility. It's not just about reciting the words, but also about guiding the congregation in prayer. So being alert is crucial in ensuring that the prayer is conducted smoothly and effectively. One reason to be alert when leading prayers is to ensure that the congregation is following along. This means that the Imam must be mindful of the pace of the prayer and ensure that the congregation has sufficient time to complete each movement before moving on to the next. Additionally, the Imam must be aware of any mistake made by the congregation and correct them accordingly. While it is unfortunate, there have been instances where Imams have been attacked while leading prayers. These attacks are typically carried out by individuals with extremist ideologies who seek to target and harm religious leaders. As a result, being alert when leading prayers as an Imam, it's not just important for the smooth conduct of the prayer, but also for the safety and security of the congregation and the Imam. The video we'll be reviewing today is an example of how alert and self-conscious an Imam should be even at the peak of prayers in the mosque. The smart way he dodged this attack is remarkable and should serve as a lesson to other Imams during prayer times. Before we jump into the video, which I'm going to get blurred, let's watch one that happened just uh, some few years ago. Is that? That's embarrassing. What? Why would you just come to interrupt a prayer? I hope the man is okay. This also happened in Malaysia, specifically at the National Masjid. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters, welcome to another episode of the Open Minded Thinker Show. Please like and share to create awareness. Don't forget to subscribe to help us grow. The mosque was filled with a soft glow of light as the Imam began to lead the Fajr prayer. The congregation was quiet. Each person focused on the words of the Imam as he began to recite the prayers. The atmosphere was peaceful with the sound of the Imam's voice resonating through the mosque. As the prayer continued, the Imam's recitation were done as part prayer type and everyone in the congregation followed along, lost in prayer. However, the serenity was suddenly interrupted when a man appeared out of nowhere and whipped his way from the crowd the man attempted to strike the Imam with a massive blow on his slippers, but he missed as the Imam quickly stepped back very smartly. The incident was brief but left everyone in shock. Yeah. The man was quickly apprehended by the police and taken away. The suspect in his 40s, who was clad in a purple banjo malayu and black pants, had entered the masjid about 6.20 a.m. During prayers, the man was hot shot and they rolled a short entrance of the mosque. Later, when the Imam was reciting the prayers, the man stomped in. 
he pushed several congregants and rushed towards the imam, trying to hit him with, of course, as you know, slippers. One notable thing about the whole thing was that the imam, a Mahad Taib Tuarath student, remained calm and composed, reassuring the congregation that everything was under control. Despite the unexpected interruption, the prayer continued smoothly. The Imam's recitation was still on point and the congregation continued to follow along. As the prayer drew to a close, there was a collective sigh of relief from everyone in the mosque. The incident was quickly forgotten as the Imam concluded the prayer and the congregation began the preparation for the day's fast. For me, this is pretty interesting considering the Imam's ability to evade the attacker pretty smartly and remain calm and composed. The prayer actually continued smoothly and the congregation remained focused, demonstrating the resilience and strength of the faith. The incident served as a reminder of the need for vigilance and security measures to ensure the safety of all members of the congregation. Before making this video, I followed it up to understand that the attacker was mentally ill. Inshallah, he may have been given the best of treatments. We hope so. But this action leaves us with a great lesson. One of that lesson is raising mental health awareness. This incident highlights the importance of raising awareness about mental health issues within the Muslim community. Muslims should seek to educate themselves and others about the challenges faced by individuals who suffer from mental illnesses and how to identify and support those who may be struggling. Muslims should encourage dialogue and understanding between themselves and individuals of different background. The media may have told us dif something different, but this can help to build bridges and reduce misunderstanding that can lead to violence of this nature. Muslims should always remain vigilant and be aware of their surroundings and particularly in crowded places, such as mosques, you know, and wherever. They should report any suspicious behavior to the authorities and follow the security measures put in place to protect themselves and others. Muslims should strive to practice self-restraint and avoid reacting impulsively to situations that may cause emotional distress. This can help to prevent any escalation of violence and promote peaceful resolution of conflicts. Muslims should emphasize the value of forgiveness and the importance of treating others with kindness and compassion. Forgiveness can help to heal wounds and promote understanding, leading to a more peaceful society and a better life. Let leave it right there, ladies and gentlemen. Until next time, assalamu alaikum. Mm, first time I'm coming across this kind of video. I don't know what is wrong. See the first clip he played several years ago, in which a particular man just from the crowd went straight to the imam and was kind of dragging in. Thankfully, people were at a lot. They were attentive. Even though they were praying, they were attentive and they were able to stop the man because just you, you, one could not, you can't say maybe he was with a knife. What if he was a knife and just, you know, stabbed the man secretly or stylishly? What would have happened? I just don't know what's going on. I don't know why someone would try to go to a mosque to have a person that is leading prayer, Imam. What could it, what could it be? Is that person not a non-Muslim? Definitely, we don't know if the person is a Muslim. We don't know if the person is a Muslim or non-Muslim, but that's uncalled for. That's really uncalled for, and it's really, really wrong to do that. And for the next clip he showed, I, something similar happened again. Does that mean the mosque is not really safe? Why are people trying to 
you know, destroy or harm people? What was the issue? Then there must be something wrong. If something like that happened years ago, and now it, it happened recently again, another person dressed in that manner and dragging the imam. What? Thankfully for the, you know, the Muslims. Thankfully that they were able to stop those the man because what would have happened to the imam you know in islam the mosque is freely open for everyone be it muslim or non-muslim whether you dress like a muslim or not they will allow you in because they believe oh your dressing doesn't matter as long as your intention is to serve god they will allow you in maybe the mosque premises was reopened or maybe the person has been in the in the mosque very early enough because they said the, the other person was being the most uh, early very very early and something like that still happens ah wow seriously i won't believe it assuming it was not recorded nobody would have thought something like this could happen why would you want to attack why is that of all people in the of all the muslims there they were all targeting the imam Thankfully, it has never happened within the congregation. Just imagine within the congregation, something like that happened. Nobody would have known. Some people can just stab you secretly and nobody would know what's happening beside you. Wow, that was a beautiful one. And thank God for, like, thank God for seeing those imams too. Thank God that they were smart, they were, you know, smart enough. They even though they were praying, they they were, you know, sharp enough to to run, to run from danger. Why? Why is there danger in the mosque? What is what is the issue? Why do people have an issue with Muslims? What what is going on? This is really really sad to watch. Very sad to watch. Thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button for more like, share, comment. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.